Uh, I think it was pretty tense. People weren't happy with what was happening. But like for us as students, we were pretty glad that he did the 90% thing because we thought it would mean more radio for us, but it didn't actually turn out that way. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I don't know if it's more peaceful now, but the, I see people were striking, it was tense outside. Like there were a bunch of people not happy, old ladies were sleeping on the street. Oh, with him and stuff, I guess it was that whole 90% uh, saga of uh, are they going to play local music yeah. and more international? Ken, I want to ask you something. Yeah. They said 90%. Did that 90% actually take place? I don't really think so because our music industry, I can't really say we don't have content, but we don't really have enough new content to keep on playing new stuff. That's why we always go back and play all those old stuff. I had no complaints, honestly, yeah. none whatsoever. Yeah. I, 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 I was willing to give him more time, in fact, yeah. to lead on, on whatever. Yeah. So the time got cut shortly, so really I couldn't say, I, couldn't, I can never point out anything negative, yes. particularly or neither good either. Neither it was good. okay for me. Yeah. Employees so, were looking satisfied, especially the permanent staff. I'm a freelancer. So he was coming to, to our side, to our rescue, but his time was cut short. So I think he was coming all right. I was, I was okay with him. I was okay with him. I'm able to beat those people with degrees by having a certificate. It doesn't define you as the best person who can go and perform and do a better job. What it does, it opens doors for you so that you can be employed by any organization. Saudi Mutseling uh, had one good vision for South Africa. That vision was to make um, 90 percent local content, 90 percent everything South African. I think that was the one best thing he did. And now, since every other thing, the corruption that came with it, broke all the good he did down. So now South Africa is faced with another problem where local productions, local content just disappears. Um, we are back to being another state uh, for, for America and Europe and then unfortunately that puts uh, the artists and the productions and stuff in South Africa at the back foot. He's, he's been a very uh, consistent in the way he leads us and the, the, the SIPC, he's got a certain vision. and. Uh, I just see him on TV. Eh? Uh, I was told that he works here at SAPC, but I only see him on the news. Sometimes I see him, they have a poster in the toilet, so you see him in the toilet as well. But uh, I don't know who that guy is because eh? you don't see him at work, you just hear about him. Eh? Uh, life at SAPC with, with Cloud, it's, it's like you're unemployed. You know, because you come in at work, you do what you want. You know, sometimes you come in at uh, 10 o'clock and then you can go home at 11 o'clock. So it was like not having a boss, you know. So I think uh, Claudio was a great boss, even though we've never seen him. Now things at SAPC are a bit tough, you know, because now there's, there's new leadership, there's new management. The people, they want you to come in at 8 o'clock and leave at 5. And we are not used to that. Eh? I don't have uh, anything uh, wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong against. Uh, is it ninety percent local? Yeah. Uh, but uh, the problem was that uh, there's no local content. So the people they want local, they want local. But when we start playing local, we are playing music, and we are playing content from the '90s and the '80s, and uh, there's no new content. So uh, it's pointless. They must uh, invest in production companies, and they must invest in artists so that there's new content and we are not all singing to bring up uh, Brenda Fassi, Brenda Fassi. Adimutrani used to be our COO who was always willing to help who doesn't have. He was trying to make sure that all disadvantaged guys, we are developed financially, 
you know most here in South Africa, as long as you are financially stable, you can survive. So he was helping us a lot in that regard. He was an autocrat, and the only thing that he used to do, like, he has his own bodies that always get whatever they, they need. And some, they were just left out without even noticing or getting anything. I think maybe the new board and even the new COO, they will try to make sure that everything runs smooth. We are going back where we belong and I think we will be one of the best broadcasters in future.